What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my Four Star School YouTube channel. In today's lesson, we are going to build this can store application using the Flutter. So first, I'm going to give you a quick demo. So this is the final project we're going to build after you finish this tutorial. So first one is the home page. We have uh, these. A list of popular game and nearest game. Uh, it can be a uh, scroll uh, this entire page, and we have a border navigation. And for the detail page, uh, we have uh, all the uh, associated information uh, for this scan. And here I using a silver app bar. Uh, you see when I scroll down, the header image will scale down. Right? And also we have uh, these uh, read more. Uh, when I click, uh, there are more text showing up. Okay, I think uh, and that's for uh, this can store uh, application. If you are new to my channel, feel free to register out to my channel page. In there, you will find Adobe Programming Language tutorial. A Flutter for beginners tutorial as well as the Flutter UI from scratch tutorial. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, sum up my video, and open a notification so you won't miss out the latest Flutter tutorial in the future. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. First, we're going to create our project. So let's open our terminal and navigate to our uh, workspace. And there, we can use a Flutter command to create a game store application and just wait for a few seconds. Okay, I think uh, it's a set. So let's open our uh, Visual Studio code and we click this open folder button and find our uh can store application and he is open and just wait a few seconds uh this project will load into our original studio code so first we're going to do some uh project setup and first we're going to create a access folder and import our access drop our access into this access folder and go to this pub space YAML file. Uh, scroll down in line the 61. I'm going to uncomment those out. I'm going to change it. Uh, add a prefix for access. Okay. And hit save. And the pub get wheel running. Just wait a few seconds. And we can close it for now and open our make.dot file and here I'm going to delete everything after line 32 so we can delete all of them and we're going to create some folder so first one is our screens folder and we have a models folder we also have our constant folder uh, store our uh, color for the screen, we have a home screen and we have a detail page screen. So for home screen, we have a home.dar and also we have a widget folder store uh, the local widget for this uh, home.dar and let's create this uh, home.dar create our home page so and going to import library and I can replace this with uh, our scaffold uh, scaffold widget right? and change this to our body attribute we have a, a center widget inside center widget uh, we have a text widget and just a home page okay we make it constant and hit save then we can use this uh, home page in our mid.dar going to remove uh, this my home page uh, replace with our home page okay I think we can delete this theme for now and change 
uh, the Flutter app to uh, Flutter game stock. Okay, and make it a constant as well. Okay, we can save now and click this run button and open our emulator. If everything is set set up successful, we will be able to see uh, the blank home page with the uh, home page text show on the screen. So let's wait. So after a few minutes, we are able to see this home page text show on the screen. Let's indicate we have a successful set up this project. And here I'm going to remove this debug banner and also hide the status bar. So we're going to find this show a debug check checked mode banner going to set to false and uh, this will remove the, the banner and then we're going to inside this build method we're going to use system chrome to um, uh, set overlay ui style we're going to change the overlay ui style okay use a uh, system overlay style and here we can uh, find the status bar color we're going to change to uh, transparent and make it constant okay so then we hit save now the static bar be high uh, in this case okay i think we can start from this point and let's create our uh, color file so in here we have our primary color uh, which is, is this dark blue so let's create uh, our colors dot dark file and I'm going to define our primary color and we save and then after that we can use this uh, primary constant I refer to this color and let's close it so in our hot daughter so we first going to uh, implement this uh, header and then we implement this search bar and next we'll implement this uh, category and then is this popular game and is this newer scan so last one will be this uh, navigation bar uh, depend on the time if we have time we will implement this navigation bar otherwise I will uh, leave it into our second part of the video so first we're going to change the background color for this scaffold uh, we're going to change the background color to our uh, primary color and then we're going to uh, replace this center widget uh, with a single trial scroll view widget okay and for it is trial uh, here I'm going to use a stack rid widget uh, the reason I use stack uh, widget in this case because we have uh, these two uh, background liquid so I want to put it in the background so implement this stack widget we have uh, implemented trial okay I'm uh, going to remove the constant keyword for now and for these uh, children I'm going to use uh, transform and I'm going to use a uh, metric dot uh, identity uh, rotate uh, 20 degree and set it is origin okay origin and origin constant offset uh, 150 uh, dy set to 50 and we have a trial so for trial we're using image.ss and we're going to find our liquid background uh, 
uh, which is inside our images folder then the quid dot pick I'm going to set the width for this image as well probably 200 is enough okay let's save then you're able to see we have this liquid and also we have a liquid here so uh, the next transform widget going to wrap it inside a position widget uh, and we're going to set the position uh, right set to 0 and top set to 200 so for our second liquid we can copy our first um, liquid image but we're going to change the offset uh, here going to change 180 here change to 100 and let's save the reason you see this where uh, liquid because uh, we didn't set the height and weight for this stack but we're going to use the colon and row widget inside this stack widget so you automatically occupy this uh, entire screen weight and height so let's find uh, this position widget under it I'm going to use a uh, colon widget right? so we have a uh, children attribute I'm going to implement our first uh, header widget right? and I'm going to uh, create a header file uh, inside our widgets folder I'm going to name it header.dar so inside this header.dar uh, I'm going to uh, create a stateless widget so let's create stateless widget and then header and we're going to import library okay and back to uh, this one uh, this is the home docker we're going into a library so we can remove a lot of error and in this header dot and for it is container I'm going to use a uh, row widget uh, this is our first row but also it's the colon and that one is our second row so when we use a row widget uh, you will uh, automatically uh, occupy the entire uh, width of the screen so first we give the padding for this container I'm going to add some padding the reason I didn't use constant in this case because I'm going to uh, get the median query of the padding uh, top padding so let's use a median query of context of context and we can access to the padding dot top and this is not a static uh, data so you cannot add a constant keyword so for the left padding and right padding uh, 25 is enough okay so for it is child I'm going to use a row widget we can save for now you are able to see now this stack uh, occupy the entire width of the screen so Inside this uh, row widget, we're going to have a text and also the icon, which is this uh, avatar. And we're going to use a row widget and first going to change it is main x alignment to a space between. So this our first row is the second row. If we use space between, you will separate. And okay, for it is try uh, children. So first children will be a column widget, right? and the second children will be a circular avatar and we can implement that first uh, we're going to uh, use our image assets going to find our avatar which will under assets images and avatar.pick i also set the feet for this image i'm going to use a uh, cover box feed power and we can save and you're able to see this avatar so I think um, 
in it. Uh, I have a name. It should be images. Okay, save again. Now we our, our avatar uh, show on top right corner, and then we can uh, continue implement those uh, colon which are inside the colon. So I think uh, since there are static data, so we can uh, use a constant keyword for our uh, child. So we add constant keyword before this uh, list. So first one would be our text is uh, welcome. I'm right, we going to spell it. We use a uh, text style. So inside this text style, and we're going to uh, change the font size to 22, and also color. Uh, use white color, and also change the weight to font uh, font weight dot four. Okay, save. Okay, pretty good, huh? So, and next we're going to get our second text. So, before we exit second text, uh, I'm going to give some space between those two texts. Uh, probably uh, five is enough. So, for our second text, uh, is uh, what would you like to play? And we're going to style it using a uh, text style. So inside this text style, we're going to change the font size uh, to 18 and also color, change to white color as well. And hit save. And inside this column, we're going to change it is alignment, cross the alignment, uh, change to start. Uh, we we'll align star and set it is cross alignment start okay let's save okay now it's pretty good seems very good to me huh and we finish the header and next we're going to implement this uh, search bar so for the search bar we're going to create another file i'm going to call it search .dar and it should be a say list widget as well call it search right and we import library make this key available okay and so let's make a uh, some text here indicate it's a search and we say uh, we could import the library in our uh, phone daughter find this search okay we're going to import library yeah I think and we hit save you're able to see our text shown here and we're going to uh, start it a little bit so here I can see they're uh, using a uh, stack widget so the reason I use stack widget because we have uh, this text field and also we have uh, this icon on top of the text field. So we're going to use a position widget to position it. So for the container, we're going to give the uh, padding. So we're going here, I'm going to use uh, edge incest uh, symmetric for the horizontal. I'm going to set 25 for the vertical, I'm going to set 30. And for it is trial, I'm going to use a stack widget. And for it, uh, children, so first children will be a text field. So inside this text field, and I'm going to uh, change the color for it is a cursor. Let's see, uh, we're going to change cursor color cursor color to our primary color okay so we're going to import library as well and then we have uh, a declaration and here i'm going to use a import uh, input declaration for this text field and we going to implement this field color 
So the field color would be it's now white, a little be a gray. So we are going to uh, make it on my own. Uh, very very uh great a little bit white uh the field set to true so we can save for now and you are able to see it's showing here uh it's not a white color white is here uh it's a little bit gray than white color and also we have a border so border are going to use outline uh, input border so in outline input border uh, we have uh, a border radius and also the border side so for the border radius i'm going to use border radius dot circular and 20 is enough for the border side i'm going to use a border side i think uh, i'm going to set the width to zero and also a uh, style, uh, border style, going to set to none. And hit save. Okay, and you see it's uh, very similar like this. And we can continue. After this border, we're going to implement a content padding. So we could set, yeah, using this edge inset store. Uh, symmetric for the uh, vertical vertical padding is zero but for the horizontal uh, going to set horizontal uh, going to set uh, 20 okay and we have uh, a prefix icon so for the prefix icon, uh, I'm going to use the material icon, uh, which is icon star search uh, online. Okay, and also the color, it's our primary color, right? And for it is size, uh, search is enough, and we can save. Let's see. Okay, now it's uh, uh, pretty similar, huh? And then we have uh, a hint text. So for the hint text, I should be just search again. And also we have a hint style. So for hint style, we're going to use a text style. Inside this text style, we're going to change the font size to a 14 and also color. Uh, using color stock gray but with opacity set to 0 0.7 okay let's save okay pretty similar huh so the last one is our icon so it's uh, outside is a uh, text field uh, we're going to use a position widget and we're going to position our icon so first uh, is I'm going to use icon by wrap with our container uh, using container uh, inside the container we have a padding using constant edge inset dot or so five is enough and also we have a decoration so we're using a box decoration we change the border radius uh, border radius dot circular uh, set to 10 and also we're going to change the color the container color are going to be our primary color after that we have a child attribute here going to put our icon uh, icon also a material icon icon star make our light okay and color is white color size would be uh, 25 I think that's, that's it so we can save them now and also we need to position it right by default it's on the top of our uh, stack widget a uh, right top of us so we can change the bottom to 7 and also uh, right to 
shelf. Let's see. Okay. It's pretty good, huh? I think we finish uh, the search bar as well. So next we're going to implement this one. Uh, the again category. Okay, next we're going to create a category file. Uh, so under this budget folder, we're going to create a category.dar and it will be a stylus widget as well. Stylus widget in a category and uh, import library. Okay, make this key notable. So in here, we're going to define a list of category we're going to use. Right? And since we have a, a data shown here, so going to remove this constant keyword. Right? So, and let's check our for prototype again. Okay, so first we're going to make this a rounded uh, container. So I'm going to change this container uh, and to style it uh, using box decoration. Uh, inside, uh, we're going to change the color, uh, which is color. Uh, also the border radius. Uh, we use these border radius the only and we only change the top left radius the circular uh, 20 and also a uh, top right we use the circular 20 as well okay and at least constant before this declaration Okay, for a tutorial, uh, we're going to use a colon widget because uh, I'm going to put uh, those two inside this colon as well so this entire page can be scrolled Okay, so we can save for now and also import it so we can see on the screen After this uh, search, we're going to import this category for class Okay, let's see. Because uh, we don't have any content inside this container, so uh, it's hard to see. So we're going to fill it. Uh, inside this colon, uh, we have uh, children, right? And for it is children, I'm going to make another container. Because I'm going to use, uh, how to say? Uh, list view. So if I going to uh, use the list view, I going to give this container high. So for the high, I'm going to set to 140, and add some padding for this container. Edge okay, inset dot org set to uh, 25. Okay, and for it is trial, I'm going to use a uh, list view the uh, separator and implement those uh, required attribute one by one. So first I'm going to change the scroll direction because it's horizontal list and also for this uh, separator builder uh, I'm going to just use a uh, size box add a constant keyword sized box uh, with set to 33 the land just be a list of land since we have uh, only four items inside the list and for this item builder uh, this one is uh, the most uh, important one so each one we have an icon also the text so i'm going to use a colon widget okay index uh, here i'm going to return a colon Inside the column, the uh, first column will be our icon and the second column will be our uh, text. And we have a uh, children, right? Tribute, and we have our uh, container, uh, contain our icon. 
So for our first uh, container, we're going to add the padding uh, 10 and also decoration because we have a rounded border for this container we're going to use a box decoration in this case uh, change it is border radius uh, going to set to uh, probably 20 is enough and then we have a color so for it is color we're going to use the color store in this uh, list so we can access using the index and also the color so you will probably something like list index and also color right Just color okay save we can save for now and you are able to see we have uh, four door similar like this but we, we haven't give any child inside this container so we won't see it so for it is trial I'm going to use icon because we also store those icon data inside this list so we can use it as well here will be a list index and we have a icon right icon data so the color uh, all the icon is white and also the size uh, 40 is enough so let's save okay it's pretty good now very similar like this and then we're going to give a uh, space and after space we will have a text a label for those icons so for size box uh, probably 10 height is enough so the last one would be the text so with our text also inside our list we're going to access using this title and also we're going to style it so we're using text style so inside the text style we're going to change the form weight to bold okay form weight dot bold and also we're going to change the color using color star uh, black with capacity cap opacity set to 0 0.7 and last one is font size and change to uh, 16 okay let's save now it's uh, pretty good it's very similar like uh, the prototype okay and I think we finish uh, this uh, category part so the next one will be this popular game and as you see, we have uh, this popular can and new artist can uh, very very similar so I'm going to make a common method which builds us to a widget so after, let's see and after this uh, build method, I'm going to create another method which is called build title I will take a uh, text right? and here I'm going to return the container because we're going to give the padding so we're using container it's easy for us to set padding I'm uh, going to set the padding uh, using edge incest dot symmetric uh, we got give it horizontal Set to 25 and then we're going to uh, give the weight so weight will be double max infinity and then it's this child that we're using a text widget because uh, we passed the text here so we can just use the text and set the style by using text style okay and we change the form weight uh, phone dot ball and also phone size 20 is enough and then we use this build title uh, probably uh, inside this column widget but after this container uh, this container is this uh, horizontal category list 
So you could use in here, uh, give it a uh, popular game. Okay. And you can copy another one, change it to uh, New York City game. Okay, so let's save. Now you're able to see we have a uh, two text show here. Okay, pretty good. Uh, then we're going to uh, make the uh, gallery again. So let's create a popular game. So here I'm going to create another uh, file uh, which is called uh, popular game. Popular game. Doctor. Before we implement the uh, popular game, I think we need to uh, create a game model first. So let's find these models folder. We're going to create game model. Uh, so it should be a game class. And we have uh, this background image attribute, uh, the icon, and also the name and the type and the score and the download and also how many reviews and a list of image we're going to use in our data page okay that's all so we're going to create our background image so we have a uh, icon right, and also we have a uh, name and also type right and also score score and download uh, review also we have a, a description and the last one would be a list of images uh, which is our uh, again gallery okay I think Okay, and we're going to implement this constructor. Okay, this dot background image, this dot icon, and this dot name, this dot type, this dot score, this dot download, this dot review, and this dot description and also this dot image right let's save and since we only have a few attributes so i could just use uh these uh, default parameter if you have a uh, more than 10 attribute inside your class i highly recommend you using a uh, name parameter uh, for it is constructor Right, so you can wrap all those uh, attributes uh, in this uh, curly bracket, uh, which make those into a num parameter. Okay, we finish uh, this uh, constructor, and then we're going to create a static method, which will generate a list of uh, games. So here we only have uh, two games. Uh, and we can go back to implement our popular case. So let's close. Uh, before we close, we need to save and close this game.dar. And in this uh, popular game.dar, uh, I think we're going to create a stateless widget. Okay, let's create a stateless widget. I'm going to call it popular game. Okay, and we're going to import library, uh, make this key down above. And we also have our list of game. And this game, right, and import the library as well. Okay, so a list of game will come from this static method. Uh, we're going to remove this constructor since we're not going to use a static static data inside this popular game. Okay. And let's back to this design 
prototype. Here we're going to use a list of view as well. And for each list of view, I'm going to return a car widget. So we have this uh, shadow. So inside this container, uh, I think first we're going to set the height for this container. High would be 200 is enough. Uh, actually, we can change this uh, container to size box since we only use this uh, height attribute. And then for it is trial, it should be a list of view dot separate. And we're going to implement those uh, required attribute. So for it is item count, I think just a uh, list of view, uh, list of gain dot length. And for it is a separator, uh, just use a size box. I'm going to give weight uh, 10 is enough. So the last one will be this item builder. So before, I think we're going to give this uh, list of view some padding. I'm going to use a constant edge inset dot symmetric. Uh, horizontal change to 25 okay should be horizontal change to 25 and vertical uh, change to 20 uh, then we going to set it is a uh, scroll direction uh, for axis horizontal for it is item builder uh, going to return a car right the car widget so for this car widget and we're going to change it is uh, elevation to five and also the shape we're going to use a rounded rectangle border uh, and then I can change the border radius uh, border radius dot circular uh, set to 15 and then for it is child I'm going to use the container because I'm going to give some padding uh, edge access dot or 5 is enough and also the decoration box decoration because uh, we have uh, inside this container we also have a rounded shape so we're going to use uh, say it is photo radius as well dot circular so 15 also and since we're using the image inside this container we're going to uh, uh, use uh, the widget called clip rack and we have photo radius as well so we can copy this one and for this child, I, we can just use uh, image dot asset and use a list games dot index dot background image. Okay, it's pretty long, huh? But I think that's it. So we can save, and we need to import this one inside our category. So going to find. After this uh, popular game, we're going to uh, import library popular. Okay, and let's say you will be able to see those can coming up. Okay, it's pretty good, huh? And we define this uh, horizontal list of view, and we wrap it. We're using this card widget set it is elevation and it is a rounded corner okay i think we finished this popular game part and last one will be this uh new artist can for this new artist can let's create another file under this widget folder i'm going to call it newest game star. Uh, so stay less the widget as well. Coin use game. Okay, and make this key notable. 
and board library. Okay, so first going to define a list of can and this can your can from this can. Um, so I think we need to import library and we can use this uh, static method trying to remove the constructor so we get a list of GANs so let's check our prototype so first uh, it's a code and widget and we have uh, this this is our first row and we have two GANs so we're going to use a colon widget so this is our first uh, colon this entire nearest scan, another entire nearest scan will be our second colon. So inside each colon, we're going to have a row widget. Right? This is our first row, and this will be our second row. Okay. So we're going to uh, set some padding for this container uh, using edge incest or uh, probably 25 is enough. And for this child, I'm going to use colon widget, and we can save it. And I think we could import uh, in this category dar. So after this uh, nearest scan, we're going to import our uh, widget nearest scan. Okay, let's save. So now we'll be able to see our nearest scan. So we're going to use a colon. So for it is child, uh, we're going to use this list scan dot map. And you will return a variable. So we're going to turn into a list. So inside uh, this map function, we're going to return a container. And the reason I return container because we're going to give it a rounded border and also the padding. So let's change it is padding constant edge incest or uh, 15 is enough and also margin using edge incest const edge incest dot handy. Uh, just only button so be 20 and also change the uh, decoration for color uh, it will be a white color and also uh, border radius going to use a uh, circular okay and for this trial we're we going to use a row widget uh, as I mentioned, so for the row, this will be our first row contain the icon. So let's in create our first row. I'm going to put, uh, okay, so let's see. Uh, because this image have a rounded corner, so I'm going to use this widget to cut and we have this for the radius the circular I think 5 is enough and for this trial we're using image access and we can access to element the icon and I'm going to change uh, this width uh, 60 is enough okay, let's save now you're able to see I right, have a uh, 2 near scan okay so this is our first row for our second row uh, first we're going to keep some space between so let's set to wait set to 10 and also so for the second row i'm going to use uh, can use a colon, right? This is our first colon. This is our second colon. Uh, I'm going to wrap uh, this entire uh, second colon inside the expanded widget. 
then I can use uh, main axis alignment, uh, space between to separate this icon and this column. So we're going to use expanded widget. So inside this expanded widget, we have a child, so it should be a column. All right, we have a children, but for this column, we're going to change it is alignment, uh, which is a cross alignment to start. And for it is uh, children, we have first children, just a uh, text. Okay, uh, should be element name, right? And we can style it a little bit using text style. Inside this text style, which uh, change font size to 80 and also font weight, uh, font weight dot bold, right? This is for our uh, text style since it's a uh, static we can make it constant and also give the a little bit space and we're using the size box change to five okay this is our uh, first colon we can save and then we're going to make our second colon uh, which is then a row, right? So square a row, second row. We're going to set this main x alignment to space between. And for this uh, trial, so first trial will be a colon, and second trial will be this one. I'm going to call it build star. This one I'm going to call it uh, build button so I'm going to create a two more method so inside this column widget and um, I'm going to change this cross alignment to start and also inside uh, we have a uh, element type uh, we can style it as well We're using text style uh, we change it this color great with capacity 0 0.8 okay this for our text and save and after the text we're going to give some uh, space so we could use this box to this unit and then we have uh, this method we're going to queue, uh, call build start right. so after this is our sec uh, first row right. after this colon I'm going to create another method uh, it's called build button the download button okay so we're going to implement uh, those two methods okay a method and also create a method for this one as well okay okay we can open it out first and we start it able to see these those two right so for our build star I'm uh, going to return uh, widget all right so let's clear a list of color so the color will be Color dot amber will be four times, and last one will be a grid uh, with capacity to do zero point three, and because we have a four star with amber color, a one with a grid color, I'm going to return a. Mm -hmm. 
a row. So inside a row, we have uh, children. We're going to use the map function, color map to list, right? Inside this map, uh, we're going to return icon. All right, we're using icons dot start and size will be 20 and color will be the element okay save going to open this method so let's see and we're able to see those join here okay I think we forgot to set it is size it is smaller okay 15 is good okay right and then is this button a build button so you also return a widget so I'm going to return a container so void container I'm going to set Padding, symmetric, uh, vertical, 5, and horizontal, 15. Right, this is for the padding. And we have a decoration, a box decoration, using a primary color. Also, for this uh, radius, for the radius dot circular uh, 15 is enough and for it is child uh, I'm going to use a text widget make it constant okay so inside the text widget we have a install text and style it a little bit text style color just change the color to white Okay, let's save. And we need to uncommon the header. Okay, now we'll be able to see these uh, neural scan. Yeah, pretty similar, huh? I think we finish uh, this part. So next is uh, the uh, border navigation part. And I will consider put this border navigation part in our second part of the video because uh, I don't want to make this video too long okay so I think that's all for today's video so don't forget to subscribe to my channel sum up my content because uh, I really uh, appreciate your time and your support and also don't forget to open a notification so you won't miss out my uh, second part of uh, video Okay, thanks for watching. I will see you in next time.